It is our responsibility, Mr. Speaker, as the party in government, to, con to continue pursuing our founders' vision, to keep improving the wages and conditions of the workers of this country. This is why, in 2022, we appointed a minimum and equal wages commission comprising representatives of the trade unions, private sector, and government. I'm pleased to report, Mr. Speaker, that this commission has completed its preliminary report and the way forward will be as follows. In compliance with the provision of the Labor Act, Cap 16.04, the commission shall proceed to prepare the draft order containing a recommended minimum wage for publication in the Gazette and to present its recommendations to the representatives of employees and employers as prescribed by the Labor Act. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Section 77 of the Labor Act prescribes the manner in which the Commission is to seek comments, and I quote, when there is such a referral, the Commission by publication in the Gazette and, sub and submission to organizations representing employees and employers invite comments and objections relating to the making of a minimum wage order within 21 days of publication. And on the issue of objections, section 87 reads as follows. Objections to the making of a minimum wage order shall be submitted to the minister, stating A, the grounds of objections, B, the nature of that person's objections in that manner, and C, such additions, modification, or amendments to the draft order that the person may think fit. Mr. Speaker, it is our hope and our desire to follow the rules that St. Lucian workers will have a new minimum livable wage by August 1st, 2024.